Hi, Spiky. Why are you sad? I tripped and broke my phone. Look at all these tiny things that have come out of it. Bubbles. Spiky's phone is an electronic device and it is made up of many different electronic components. Electronic? What's that? Electronics is the study of how to control the flow of electrons. It deals with circuits made up of components that control the flow of electricity. Electronic devices such as computers, radios, TV and cell phones are all made up of different electronic components. The word component simply means a piece of or a part of something. Let's take a closer look at the components that form an electronic device. This tiny component is called a resistor. It's so colorful! Yes, the colors show how much resistance value the resistor has. A resistor regulates the amount of current flowing through a circuit. The higher the resistance value, the smaller the current and vice versa. Next, we have the capacitor. A capacitor stores electric charges. A capacitor is a bit like a battery, but it has a different job to do. A battery uses chemicals to store electrical energy and releases it very slowly through a circuit. When a capacitor is charged and is used as an energy source, it releases its energy very quickly in a few seconds or less. Capacitors come in all shapes and sizes, but they are usually made of the same parts. There are two conductors, known as plates, and an insulator in between them. The two plates inside a capacitor are connected to two electrical connections on the outside. These thin metal legs, called terminals, can be hooked into an electric circuit. The amount of electrical energy a capacitor can store is called its capacitance. Capacitance is measured in a unit called farad. The capacitance of a capacitor is a bit like the size of a bucket. The bigger the bucket, the more water it can store. The bigger the capacitance, the more electricity a capacitor can store. What else do we have here? This one? This is a diode. It makes sure that current flows only in one direction. Another kind of diode is the LED, which stands for Light Emitting Diode. LEDs glow when current passes through them. They are used as indicator lights and in some letter and number displays like those on digital clocks. Oh look! I found a clip! A transistor is an electronic component with three legs. It takes in a tiny electric current at one end and produces a much bigger electric current at the other. Therefore, it is used to amplify or switch electronic signals and electrical power. A single integrated circuit, or IC, like this microchip, is usually made of silicon and has thousands of these resistors, capacitors, diodes, transistors, and other electronic components. Microchips are used in the collection of data and sending data to its correct destination. They have made information easier to handle and can be found in almost every electronic device. Today, we have learned about some basic electronic components. A resistor regulates the flow of electrical currents in an electronic circuit. A capacitor stores electric charges. A diode makes sure that the current flows in one direction. LEDs are a type of diode that glow when current passes through them.
Transistors are used for amplifying signals and for switches. And microchips contain many complete circuits.